So the Keeneland Fall Meet is here, and the first race we're going to look at is on Friday's card because we do have the Alcibiades, I believe it is, or the Jessamine, one or the other, and uh, we've got some uh, derby prep, so I think we want to pay attention to it. Plus, it's, Keeneland's always great, so uh, let's take a look at the Phoenix. It's a grade two. It's the seventh race on the Friday card at Keeneland. It's run at six furlongs for three-year-olds and up. And we'll take a look at this field. And uh, we see a couple of horses who were going to be running uh, last week or the week before. Uh, my buddy B and uh, Comedy Town, uh, specifically, who scratched out of races to run in this one. So we should uh, uh, raise our eyebrows a little bit, pay, maybe pay a little more attention to them. Uh, federal judge for Brad Cox, who was, uh, was pretty promising at three and has now come back and seems to be getting his sea legs under him. You got Manny Waugh and Nakatomi. They've been around for quite some time. Nakatomi's had a very successful record at Keeneland. And then a couple of newcomers. Uh, Safi Joseph's got a couple in here. Uh, he's got uh, Banjo Chris, or uh, Swervin, rather, and Hear My Song, I believe. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting field. Uh, we'll take a look at it. My buddy B, uh, to me, is uh, ran a really strong race uh, at Parks last time. And uh, uh, I thought it was, he was going to run, uh, I believe, at Parks in the, uh, uh, in, in a sprint there. But he uh, he bowed out of it, scratched out of it. I think it might have the conditions or, or whatnot. But uh, he scratched, his trainer scratched him out, so he's running here. Uh, the thing about my buddy B is I, I do question the class level to a degree. And uh, really more than anything else, if you look at his running lines, uh, the fractions he normally runs at are in the neighborhood of 22 and 45, not exactly blistering on the front end. And that kind of leads me to believe that with a little pressure from horses who are accustomed to running uh, in classier races or a little quicker pace are going to make it difficult for him. And uh, he's coming off a career best effort. So uh, I think it's likely there's a little regression here. Um, it, it, the other thing about my buddy B that I noticed more than anything else is he doesn't necessarily break well. If you look at his running lines, when he breaks well, he does pretty. He gets to the lead, he does pretty well. When he doesn't get to the lead, and usually that's because he breaks a little slowly, he doesn't run very well. So this is clearly a need the lead horse. That isn't a big surprise. Um, and I think with the kind of pressure he's going to be getting, it's going to be awful tough for my buddy B to take this field to the wire. So I'm going to let him go in this one. Uh, Federal Judge is the horse to beat, in my opinion, and he's my selection. Uh, his last two efforts uh, since coming off a long layoff, uh, the first one I think he was just getting his sea legs, but his last race was really impressive. And it wasn't a longer distance, but to me, uh, that, in, that implies to me that this horse has stamina to withstand any type of uh, pace duel that might be up front. I'm not really sure there's going to be. There's nobody in here like a Skelly who likes to run 21 and 44. It's probably going to be around 22, 45, somewhere in there. And uh, I think cutting back in distance isn't going to be a problem at all for federal judge. If anything, it should help. And uh, I think he's the one to beat here without a doubt. Uh, Hear My Song, I, I think, is a cut below the better uh, graded stakes performers, Federal Judge and Nakatomi. But I have noticed that his running lines have been really solid lately. And he, he's a hard knocker, and he brings it every time. Uh, I don't think he has the top end to beat either Federal Judge or Nakatomi. But I do think he's running well enough that he certainly will be in the mix. And he's definitely one that you want to use underneath in the exotics, for sure. Uh, Nakatomi is uh, Mr. Keeneland. You know, he's three for five at, at uh, one second. Uh, he's a horse that, you know, th th he used to be a little pace dependent, meaning, you know, coming from behind. But I have noticed lately, starting with the Breeders' Cup sprint, uh, he has been, been more forwardly placed. And what I like about Nakatomi more in this spot more than any is that his graded stakes caliber of performances. So class-wise, I think he's a really good fit here. Uh, he, I think Federal Judge is just has a tad more upside to me. And uh, he third off the layup for Brad Cox. He looks like he's going to run a big one. And it never hurts to have Flavian Pratt in the irons. Uh, 
And uh, he could rate behind, a federal judge should be able to rate behind my buddy B. I think, I think he probably can do it. So, uh, but anyway, Nakatomi is definitely one to consider here. Um, I think it will be interesting to see whether they keep him back or they move him up. Uh, he is. He appears to be pretty flexible now. But to me, when I start seeing a horse who was a closer starting to move up and get closer to the pace, that to me is a horse who's improving. And uh, so I think Nakatomi, uh, you know, if he can get a good trip and just settle off the, uh, the my buddy being federal judge, I think he's going to be in really good position. So I think Nakatomi is my second choice in here and could very well win it under favorable circumstances. Uh, Comedy Town and Swervin for Safi Joseph. I'm very reticent, as you guys have heard me say, uh, to consider Gulfstream horses moving, uh, shipping elsewhere. And I don't think these two are any exception. I don't think Swervin's fast enough. And Comedy Town was running in claimers a couple back. Uh, so I think class is a really big issue here. I think both of them maybe will be early pace factors, but I don't see either of them able to stick with the top ones here. And so I don't think this race sets up well for them, and I'll, I'll pass. Now, we have a couple of late runners in here, and I consider their chances both to be the same underneath in the trifecta. Uh, may, you know, with a, with a little bit of help, maybe the exacta, but Banjo Chris uh, is a horse who is getting better. I, I did notice a progression, and I think uh, that's why he's here, is that, you know, just let's see what he's got at this point he's just not fast enough but uh can he get up underneath uh yeah well no question and same thing with Manny was Manny was eight years old I mean he's uh he's on to another trainer and I, I just don't think this I think this horse at eight years old he's seen his better days uh he is coming to this race third off the layoff and it, it's very conceivable he could have a top effort but I don't think it's good enough uh, not in this field, and I, this horse I just think is on the downward slope. But underneath in the trifecta, absolutely. So Federal Judge is definitely the one to beat, and then we'll use three underneath, and Nakatomi is the second choice. And that's what we're going to do in the wagering strategy. Obviously, Federal Judge is going to be pretty short, so a win bet will be prohibitive. But exacta-wise, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to go with Federal Judge and Nakatomi, 1-4, cold, and then I'll box the two of them. Hopefully it comes in 1-4, we get paid two ways. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with an exact key uh, because I, I just really, the, the other horses, maybe hear my song you could throw in there, but I don't consider Banjo Chris or many realistic threats for second. If we're going to do that, we'll do it in the trifecta. We're going to go 1-4, 1-4 with 2-6-8, and then we'll go 1-4 with 2-6-8 with 1-4. And uh, that's the extent of, you know, we'll we'll get a little more aggressive with those two. Then we're going to throw in a Superfecta. Why not? I think this is a really clear-cut race and a good place to do it. 1-4, one, 1-4 four, one, four with 2-6-8 with all. If you want to throw Hear My Song in the Super in second place as well, I, I can see it. But, um, you know, I want to be resolute with that type of wager. I don't want to go crazy. So uh, to me, the Phoenix is uh, pretty straightforward. I think this is federal judges' race to lose. We're going to have all the uh, stakes races for Friday and Saturday for Keeneland. So be on the lookout for them. And there are uh, the Belmont Championship meets going on over at Aqueduct, so we don't want to ignore that. Uh, so there's a lot of racing going on, get, getting closer to the Breeders' Cup. Going to start October off with the bang. I hope this analysis helps you with your own wagering strategy. Wish you the best of luck as always. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. And until then, be well.